Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to draw an elephant. Um, don't mind my dirty hand, I was just painting and that's what's all over it there. You can use a ruler for this or you don't have to. I'm not going to use a ruler for this. So I'm gonna start just a little bit off center, drawing a straight line down and then another straight line down adjacent to that with some space in between. So those two lines should be straight down and there should be some space in between and the line should be about the same size. Once you have that, these are supposed to be part of his legs or her legs, you draw the ear. Now it goes kind of like a butterfly wing, like that. And you try and draw something similar on the other side. Again, as similar as you can make it. It's okay if it's not the exact same. It's always harder to do things on the side that you're not that handed. So, this out and in. See, not perfect, not exactly the same, but that's okay. I have my two ears and my two legs. Now I'm going to connect my ears with the top of the head. So just a half circle. Once I've done that, I'm going to create my trunk. Now I'm gonna make my ears a little bit longer. Oof. Raise that. There we go. I like to blow the eraser bits away or the um, pencil shaving bits away because if you, if you uh, push them, it smears it everywhere. So if you keep hearing me blowing like that, that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so we're gonna make the trunk. So the trunk kind of comes down like this and then swirls around. And then from the other side, coming down like this, attaching it. And then it <laughs> kind of goes like that. Kind of like a funnel. I don't know if you've ever seen a funnel before. So just kind of attach the ears to wherever your, your trunk shape ended. And now you want to do some eyes. And on the sides of his legs, you can create little half circles that give the illusion of the sides of your elephant. Once, once you have that, you can erase this line, this part of the line, because this is gonna be part of your elephant's shape. So then he kind of goes out and back in like that out and back in for his legs. Now at the end of the legs, you want to add a little line outward to show his feet. And elephants have big legs, right? So we're going to do a little bit of a curved line for his feet. So he's going to go so like that, and then maybe just I'll make his trunk a little bit bigger there. All my erasing doesn't really matter because once I color it in, you won't even notice all the erasing lines that I've done. But I wanted to keep it this way to show you that when you're drawing something, it's okay if you don't like it the very first way you drew it. You can fix it, you can alter it, so just keep doing that as you're going along. So, now that we've done that, we want to add his, his tusks. So those are just on the side here, like that. And then he's got some toenails or whatever these are. 
And then he's wrinkly. He's got his kneecaps and some wrinkles on his head. Oh, and we forgot his tail. But elephants, I think they have like a tuft at the end of the tail too. So let's do that. Okay, so that's our general elephant shape. Now, once we're coloring it in, I'll probably outline with a marker and then color in with pencil crayons. So I'll just grab that and I'll do a fast motion video of me coloring it in. And you'll see that at the end, you won't be able to notice any of my mistakes throughout. colored it with one shade of gray and outlined it with a Sharpie that's also gray. But I wanted to teach you a way to make your elephant have more definition or make your coloring have more definition with pencil crayons if you want. So if you want to keep on learning something new, uh, keep on watching. In order to give your elephant more definition or make it look a little bit more real, you can add more layers of pencil crayon, just different colors, okay? So we already have our light gray. I, I'm going to use black. Now I'm not gonna press hard. I'm gonna do some light shading in areas where the elephant would actually be darker because the head would be shadowing under his neck area. So I'm just gonna add some light shading under here. Very, very lightly going over it many, many times at a very, very light pressure. Same on this side, really light pressure. It's underneath where his neck area would more so be. Darker and then going out lighter. And when you fade from darker to lighter, that's called ombre. You might have heard that before. It's really, really lightly blending it out. See what kind of difference that makes? Now, I also might just add a little bit of darkness up by his ears just to give them a little bit more definition. Again, I'm pressing so lightly just going over, again, this other side of his ear, pressing very lightly, blending it out. See how kind of a difference that makes as well? So now I'm gonna do the bottom of his trunk kind of gives it a look of roundness too. Down by his feet. And then in the same direction as I've drawn the knees, I'll do a little bit of shading. Now the directional point is the most important point because it won't look real if you, it won't give the same effect if you do it this way instead of this way. So just doing a light shading kind of on top and around the knee area to his rounded sides, blending it out lightly. It's kind of just some outlining with very light shading, but not outlining the entire elephant, just parts of it. 
Now we can do kind of the front of his trunk area here. I'm going up and down under his eyes. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use a darker gray. So I started out using this gray, I've used black, and now I'm gonna use like a darker gray to help um, blend the shading. And I'm gonna use this bit on his face. And you can't even really tell what I'm doing here, and that's the point. You don't wanna really be able to see where the shading begins and where it ends. Now I'm gonna do his wrinkles here. I'm going to go over his toenails with the black just to make them stand out a wee bit more. And I might even color the toenails in ever so lightly. Like that. Once you feel that you've shaded it to the point that you want, you can stop wherever. I'm gonna do the crest of his head. And then Make his tail kind of go from darker into lighter like that. So that's my elephant. And as always, I'm going to sign my name at the bottom. And there you are. There you have it, your elephant. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.